After the loss of European pipeline gas market, Russia relied on exports of liquefied natural gas. But the 14th EU sanctions package adopted at the end of June banned the use of EU ports for transshipment and re-export of Russian LNG. It is not a ban on buying, only re-export to third countries via the EU is restricted. This is a major loss for Russia. That is why Moscow is trying to repeat the scheme with the oil shadow fleet, experts say. Buyers suspected of having ties to Russia are all already buying dozens of ships capable of carrying liquefied natural gas, the Financial Times reported. According to Shipping Industry Insiders, a group of companies mostly registered in the United Arab Emirates have been buying LNG ships over the past year. According to Windward, a company that advises ship owners and governments on shipping risks, more than 50 such ships have been taken over by UAE restricted companies since the second quarter of 2023. In the past three months, the ownership of at least eight vessels has been transferred to little-known companies in Dubai, according to Aquasis, a global shipping database. Four are ICE class and have already been granted approval from Moscow to sail through Russia's Arctic waters this summer. Russia recently approved the ships North Air, North Mountain, North Sky and North Way for navigation in the Arctic this summer season. North Way is currently a arriving at the Zeebrugge terminal in Belgium to receive a shipment of Russian gas from Bloomberg publication. But the maritime transport of oil and liquefied natural gas has specific differences. There are about seven and a half thousand oil tankers of different capacities operating in the world. There are 10 times fewer ships capable of carrying LNG. At the same time, Russia is one of the leading exporters of liquefied natural gas. The combination of these factors, according to Experts leaves Moscow no room for maneuver. There are very few gas carriers in the world compared to oil tankers, and accordingly it is quite easy for a Russian tanker to get lost among the tens of thousands of tankers that sail the sea, while gas carriers are all outnumbered. Therefore, I am not sure that the attempt to create a shadow gas fleet will be successful, because all these names are known, and it will be quite easy to impose sanctions against each tanker. The Kremlin plans to triple LNG production by 2035. According to experts, it is unlikely that these plans will be implemented. In June, the U.S. imposed restrictions on cooperation with a number of Russian projects. As a result, the Arctic LNG-2 project, on which Moscow had high hopes for increasing production, was essentially frozen. Many international companies refuse to supply them with equipment that is absolutely unique, which they cannot replace with anything or anywhere else. They cannot manufacture such equipment by themselves. That is why this Arctic LNG-2 project has stalled. Chinese companies and Indian companies, among others, are leaving this project. The main buyers of Russian LNG are European countries. According to Eurostat data, Russia provided almost 18 percent of the EU market needs in the first quarter of 2024. Meanwhile, the leader in supplies in Europe, accounting for almost half of imports, is the US. But European countries are gradually turning away from Russian LNG. Thus, in May, the Finnish state-owned gas supply company announced a complete cessation of purchases from Russia. Lithuania, Germany and the Czech Republic have called on the license to completely refuse from Russian gas. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.